Can you believe the electric car craze lately? Seems like every company is hopping on the EV train, but what's the deal with Toyota? They were the pioneers of hybrid cars, but it's not looking like they are fully convinced with the EV vision. So are they ready to plug in and go fully electric? Well, not quite yet. So let's dig in and find out why the hybrid giant Toyota doubts EVs. The Hybrid History Toyota's got some valid reasons for sticking with their hybrid game and throwing shade on the all-electric buzz. It's not that they're completely anti-EV, they're just vibing with a different groove. Toyota's been crushing it in the hybrid world for ages. They were one of the first to really get it right and they've been perfecting the tech ever since. The whole idea is that their hybrids have both a regular gasoline engine and an electric motor. These two work together seamlessly so you get the power you need and save a ton on gas. People love Toyota hybrids because they're known for being crazy fuel efficient. We're talking about getting way more miles to the gallon than regular cars. Plus, they're super reliable so you don't have to worry about them breaking down all the time. The problem with the EV shift. Toyota definitely has some hesitation when it comes to going all in on electric vehicles. One major concern is the lack of charging infrastructure. Imagine being on a road trip and getting that dreaded low battery warning with no charging station in sight. That's a nightmare scenario for many. Plus, even when you do find a station, charging can take a while compared to filling up your gas tank. Don't forget the long lines of vehicles because EVs are not that rare nowadays. Another issue is the high battery cost which make EVs more expensive than traditional gas-powered cars. This affordability problem means that for a lot of people, making the switch to electric just isn't financially feasible right now. Finally, there's the environmental impact question. Sure, EVs don't produce emissions while driving, but how the electricity is generated matters a lot. If it comes from coal plants, that's not so eco-friendly. Plus, making those big batteries has its own environmental costs that need need to be considered. So besides all the buzz about electric cars, Toyota's actually been digging into something a bit different. Hydrogen fuel cell cars. These cars use hydrogen to generate power instead of relying on batteries. It's a pretty cool concept, especially since the only thing coming out of the tailpipe is water. Toyota believes this could be a major player in making cars more environmentally friendly. The world is changing for EVs. Toyota seems pretty down on the whole EV thing, but there are some solid counter arguments to their skepticism. Charging stations are popping up everywhere. Yeah, it used to be a pain to find a place to charge your EV, but that's changing fast. Governments and private companies are investing heavily in charging infrastructure, meaning it's getting way easier to take an EV on a road trip without worrying about range. Batteries are getting better and cheaper. Remember the early EVs with tiny ranges and sky-high prices? That's changing thanks to advanced advances in battery tech, costs are going down, and ranges are getting longer, making EVs a realistic option for more and more people. Climate change is a real problem. Let's be honest, gas-powered cars are a big contributor to the whole climate crisis situation. EVs might not be a perfect solution, but they definitely cut down on emissions compared to traditional vehicles. If we're serious about tackling climate change, switching over to EVs is a major piece of the puzzle. It's understandable that a huge company like Toyota is hesitant to completely jump on the EV bandwagon all at once, but the world is changing and with the growing charging networks, better batteries, and the pressure to do something about the climate, the case for EVs just keeps getting stronger. Quite well, it'll be actually publishing a detailed white paper with all of our assumptions and calculations is that there is a, there is a clear path to a fully sustainable earth uh, with abundance. In fact, you could support a civilization much bigger than Earth, than, than much more than the, the 8 billion humans, uh, could actually be uh, supported sustainably on Earth. And I'm, I'm just often shocked and surprised by how few people realize this. Um, most of the smart people I know actually don't see a, a, this clear path. They, they think that um, there's, there's not a path to a sustainable energy future or at least there's not one that uh, is sustainable at our current population, um, or that we have to resort to extreme measures. None of this is true. So we're gonna walk through the, the calculations 
for how to create a sustainable energy civilization. Toyota has been playing it safe with electric vehicles while the rest of the car world is going all in. They believe in offering customers a bunch of options, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, those hydrogen fuel cell cars, instead of betting everything on pure EVs. Meanwhile, environmental experts are like, guys, we gotta ditch gas guzzlers fast to deal with climate change. Toyota's slow and steady approach makes sense for their business, but it might not be the best move for the planet long term. So Toyota's whole, we're not going all in on electric vehicles thing could end up being a huge miscalculation. For starters, their competitors are going full speed ahead with EVs. If Toyota doesn't catch up, they risk being left in the dust. It's like they're betting on old tech when everyone else is moving into the future. And here's the thing, this isn't just about losing market share. Going electric is becoming a must for car companies due to environmental concerns and stricter regulations around the world. Toyota's strategy, with a focus on hybrids, could put them at odds with those regulations, seriously hurting their ability to sell cars in certain markets. So after all this, the question still hangs in the air. Will Toyota finally jump on the EV bandwagon or are they going to stick with hybrids for the long haul? And if they do decide to go electric, what's it going to take to make that change happen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down what you want to see next, and share this video. Subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this. Peace out.